trees, what are they like? Like this, like that. Boom's a big city, but you'll have seen trees. Oh, I'm not standing inside of the microphone, sorry. <laughs> um, you'll have seen trees about hanging around in the parks on street corners. These are some trees that were in my garden. Uh, they became a bit of a problem, so I did what any good geek would and, and deconstructed the problem into smaller problems all over the lawn. Now I fully understand trees. The world's too complex for our tiny minds to, to remember and understand, so we make models of it. Lists and lists of lists. Trees again. We use trees for everything. A work breakdown structure and a plan, which, um, which is... Um, it's a deconstruction of an imagined future. Or uh, an org chart, which is a centralised control structure built entirely out of single points of failure. Evolution branches. Well, if monkeys evolved into man, why are there still monkeys, eh? Darwin really meant death of the worst fit. Monkeys are okay, but the jury's still out on creationists. <laughs> trees are everywhere in nature, though, aren't they? Family trees. My cousin married my wife's cousin. It's not incest, it's okay. Um, we had, they're a deep and a zebroid, and we now think that humans had sex with Neanderthals. We're all hybrids, we branch and merge. These are black mangrove trees in Florida. They survive standing in swamps, in hurricanes. To be stronger in unpredictable conditions, they've evolved to be networks. We're taught to believe in trees very early. We plan our essays using structured outlines. I can't imagine an entire essay in my head, organise it in my head and then write it down. I think it networks. I came to Aston University in 1978 to, to study computer science and physics. Hot off the press was this book. It taught me to, um, to analyse problems by breaking them into trees and then design solutions. The solution tree would map neatly onto the problem tree. Do you remember my, my, my problem tree all over the lawn? I tried to top down organised software for about five years and it leads to very strange looking trees like this with, with leaves on multiple branches. I often felt that I'd started in the wrong place, made the most important decisions at the beginning when I knew least. I gave up trying to write software. Through the 80s, I kept hearing about this book, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. It's a meditation on quality, but Percy refused to define what he meant by quality. Well, it's quality, isn't it? He said. Percy wasn't even convinced. Fifteen years later, he followed. He wrote the follow-up, Lila. It went deeper and developed a metaphysics of quality. Information modelling is just as poorly understood as quality. I think it needs a metaphysics too. I started recording ideas with a mind mapping tool called FreeMind. Its creator was inspired by the book Lila. Mind maps are trees too, but FreeMind allows links between branches. I needed more links as the number of ideas increased. While I was away from software development, it changed too. Organisations abandoned, abandoned models with trees. They were now using networks of objects, small pieces loosely joined like Lego bricks. Business change movements like agile project development and lean startup were enabled by these software objects. We left trees behind, moved to networks of stories that describe better ways of running organisations. We humans simplify by pattern matching, classification, abstraction and model building. What if our classification model is itself too simple? We would trust trees and hierarchies too much. 1974, Ted Nelson, originally a journalist, was annoyed by the technical limitations of paper. He wrote a book that said, knowledge cannot be divided up neatly, and he proposed the idea of hypertext, the network of text objects which led to the web. In 1987, Microsoft published a revised version of the book which added, people keep pretending they can make things hierarchical, categorisable and sequential when they can't, though it didn't stop Microsoft trying. Even Plato knew about it. While I was planning what to talk about, comedian Mark Steele mentioned that, that Plato knew intertwicularity. 
The hierarchy chose not to tell me about it. I'm using this network to get the message to you. Models are always wrong, and the tree model has largely stopped being useful. Smash the hierarchy. Thank you.